The Oceanside School Board is considering two plans that include remodeling schools in need of repairs, consolidating two schools into one, and potentially closing schools. The changes come after the district reported a decline in school enrollment and a need to make budget cuts. Natalie Sanchez is a parent at Libby Lake Elementary, one of the schools involved. She's also the president of the school's parent-teacher organization. Anytime there's been a cut, financial cut, they've come after our school. So we do feel like, oh, um, Libby's the stepchild of, of the district. We're the furthest brown school from the district. So it's easier to target. Sanchez says parents felt blindsided because the district didn't consult them about the possible changes. Changes that impact a large number of low-income families of color. The district did put out an online survey. Sanchez says she took it on herself to print the survey to pass out to parents who were unaware of the district's plans. Our parents aren't very vocal. Um, we have a lot of parents that don't speak English, aren't very high techy, so it's we're easier to target. Del Rio Elementary, Libby Lake Elementary, and Surfside Academy are the schools taking the biggest brunt from the changes. Some of the schools are located in areas of Oceanside where gangs have a history of rivalry. And that's a concern for youth advocates. Jimmy Figueroa is the program manager of Resilience, a nonprofit that mentors at risk youth on probation. He says shuffling students around to a new area and a new school could result in gang violence or students dropping out of school. I don't think everyone on the board um, understands Oceanside to this depth or understands a lot of our marginalized low income communities of color to this depth. And if they did, they would, they would have never considered it. And if they do, then that's even more egregious because it shows that they don't care. The Oceanside Unified School Board declined our request for an interview about the plans. The board is scheduled to hold a special meeting about the proposals tonight at 6. Parents are planning a rally outside of the district before the meeting. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.